So you guys know where I stand on things that has to do with cancer and suicide, mental health. Um, I've been adamant quite lately, especially last year, when I lost a person that was my father, but I called my actual father to cancer that he fought for three years. Not only that, I also lost my best friend to suicide five years ago. I too have been in and out of the behavior unit for suicide attempts to one point where I was in the ICU uh, for swallowing a pill bottle full of Ender, which is blood pressure meds. I ended up in the ICU with a hose in my nose down into my stomach, pumping them out after using activated charcoal. I'm not a big fan when people a, a, fake cancer, and this happens, you see a lot of influencers, a lot of people that want attention to basically pretend they have cancer. Um, we've seen Chile do it with the whole, hey, I have something coming, the doctors won't tell me yet, something we had a video about a while back. But uh, Boogie 298, yes, this is another Boogie 298 video. This is probably, this is probably going to be the one that um, is really going to really make you mad. So, like I said, a couple years ago, Boogie, uh, his life has fallen apart. His channel, his career, everything's fallen apart. Um, you know, ever since, you know, he had his bypass surgery, he became a big piece of shit. Had a, had a documentary about how big of a piece of shit he was. Came out two years ago, said that he had cancer. He was diagnosed with cancer. Forgot the name of it. Um, and also... Um, he was outed a couple weeks ago on the Locale Live podcast by streamer Destiny, which, by the way, um, I don't care for Destiny. Um, I don't. I don't care for Destiny, and I'll tell you why. Like, I don't care for people that openly wish death on conservatives or just people who has a different opinion. I don't make fun of people that got killed protecting their mom, not their mom, but their wife and their daughter because they went to a Trump rally. I don't wish death on political opponents. Uh, I also, you know, don't get on live news and say, hey, I hate my parents because they're conservative and all this shit and being a smug piece of shit about it. You know, there's a way you could do things except for being somebody that probably got his comedy, his sense of humor from Rick and Morty and the fucking thesaurus. Thesaurus? Thesaurus? No, no, no. That guy's just a piece of shit. Okay, that's, I'm done with that. But this guy's even a bigger piece of shit. And I used to love this guy. I really did. And I've talked about him a lot. And this is one thing just really fucking burns me up. Because, like I said last year, and I'm sure some of you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys have somebody in their family that's either A, lost their lives for cancer, fighting cancer, or lost somebody to suicide, has mental health issues, and whatnot. Um, you guys know exactly what that's like. It's fucking terrible. It's an awful feeling, especially when you're sitting watching somebody you love that you consider a dad or a mom, a brother, a sister, a grandpa, a friend, uh, in a casket. Um, I'm really heated about this because, um, especially the fact that I actually... Like I said before, this is one of those YouTubers that I really, really cared for. I actually liked a lot. Um, I built my channel because of this guy. Um, I followed him for years. I gave him the benefit of the doubt because I say, hey, this this depressed guy, he talks about mental health and video games. He's morbidly obese. He actually made success. And then this shit happens. We watched for the last few years. This guy becomes the Mr. Rogers of the Internet to literally fucking Adolf Hitler that ate dinosaur kids and fucked rabbits. I, I, I can't even think of a word to say. Like, I can't even get the words to say to insult this guy because there's not enough insults I could throw at him that would be acceptable because he's worse than the worst insults that I could possibly think about. And here's the thing. Like, between him and Destiny, which Destiny did a good job at um, 
uh, calling him out. But between him and Destiny, so here's the thing. If NASA decides to fire off a rocket ship up in the air, release their boosters up in space, and for some odd reason, when it comes back in the atmosphere, and Boogie and Destiny's in the same room with their asses pointing up, and the rocket booster goes right into their assholes, I'm not going to care. I'm not going to care. I'm not going to wish that on them. I don't want to do that. That's fucking terrible, but I'm not going to cry about it. Uh, because that's an imaginary thing that's not going to happen. There's not going to be a rocket booster. But this is something that really pisses me off, like especially those things, because they're inherently nasty things that make you a very terrible person. And I know there's a lot of people who's going to look at me like, hey, uh, you're kind of conservative now. And like, yeah, I kind of am. But I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I say some, I do have, you know, conservative values, but I also have liberal values. So I'm, I'm uh, you know, I in between uh, more right lately because seeing a lot of these people coming out taking their mask off saying hey i wish he would have got killed like shot in the face or that family member died that's not cool that's not cool that's not how you uh you know you talk about tolerance and you are intolerant and you want people to die because of political violence and why these same people openly hate jews on the internet uh, yeah, that, that's fucking stupid. Don't, don't. They also call us Nazis, by the way. They call Nazis, but they call us Nazis. We don't agree with their narrative, which, again, white people, bad, racist. But we're not going to dive any further into that. We're going to talk about this. So, uh, on the Local Live, <laughs> Local Live Podcast, um, man, I'm really angry, really angry. I didn't think I was going to do this angry about this, but, you know, I just watched the clip and I was like, oh, fuck. So on the local podcast, Boogie took a time off from the internet, which is much needed. Came back as we all thought he would. After he, you know, deleted his, well, he deactivated his ex account and stopped um, putting internets on the internets. He came back live on the local podcast with Destiny Keemstar, I believe also a few others. Uh, Wings of Redemption, and he was having a judgment day. We're going to watch this clip. This is basically him confirming, but the fact is he jumped a gun, said he had cancer, and the fact is the damage was already done. But let's go ahead and watch this clip. Hi, Keem, how are you? It's judgment day. Yeah, I've done a, a lot of soul searching since the last uh, episode. We've been making some changes. No, no, he, he has no soul. There's no soul searching. Zero soul searching. This man has no soul. This man has zero soul, like negative zero soul. No, no, there's no soul searching here. Here on the house, uh, and uh, I've been trying to think of different ways that I could show everybody how fucking sorry I am. Um, there's not going to be enough sorries or apologies or shitty cringe like this that's going to make people forgive you. Your career is done. You're fucked. You're done. Get fucked, please. Let's continue. Because this is not okay. I, like I said last time, my dad died of lung cancer. My best friend, my childhood girlfriend, she died of uh, breast cancer that turned into brain cancer. Um, it's not something to jump the gun with, which is what I did. And it was a very stupid thing for me to do. Well, let's, let's slow down. Why does your set look completely different? What's what's that about? Well, I mailed you a little something, and uh, the room just didn't look right. And I, to be honest with you, all this boogie two night at eight shit, I just couldn't look at it. So I took everything down. Once we took the first thing down, the rest of it went, and uh, we put it in storage because I just want to see it, man. Chat. So, so basically what he did, I'm not going to continue the video because we're going to go back to the uh, other part where he decides to go all in on his bullshit. And this is the part going to be really, really mad. So basically what he did, he sent his YouTube play button to Keemstar. Um, that doesn't fix things. That doesn't fix things. The fact that you built this persona of being this humble, nice guy that cares about everyone, that um, just do good, awesome, genuine dude. You lost that. That YouTube play button was a scam because people thought you was the way you was. They thought you was a genuine person, maybe there for a while. And you know what? There's a lot of people like me that thought the same way. 
there was a lot of us, quite a bit. Um, and I know some people are like, why would you put your hope in this, like one guy? You know, sometimes when you're low, when you need somebody to look up to, when there's not very many other people to look up to, and you see somebody that shares a similar like upbringing or some traits, you're like, yeah, I can kind of hold on to this. You speak of a good message. And I don't blame anybody to do it because, I mean, that's basically how pretty much anybody that has a platform, whether it be a celebrity, uh, actor, a movie, well, a rock star, a streamer, uh, that's how it is. You influence people to like you. And that's why he did, but he did it on false pretenses. He was actually a garbage person the whole time. And that kind of comes into question, like, okay, so he's lied about this. What else has he lied back about since the beginning? You know, he did come up with a bad upbringing, say that he was art, raped by his uh, mom and dad, I think. Uh, said some truly awful things, uh, abused and stuff like that. Now, here's the thing. That is bad. That is bad, and I hate to question it, but when you lie so deeply and you have such a reputation of lying so damn much to the point that nobody believes you, and you put up a documentary that paints you as a piece of shit, then you do the crypto scam, which you say you was using that money from the crypto scam to pay for medical expenses because you had cancer. Then when they find out that you don't have cancer, and right here you actually confirmed you didn't have the proper diagnosis to have cancer, but you actually spent two years grifting, hoping people would feel sorry for you because the past happened and you wanted people to concentrate, uh, hey, I might be dying, which you constantly talked about for two years. Probably got a lot of sympathy money, which you should be giving that money back. Like, you should be giving that money back. YouTube, like, if they paid you any fucking money, they should be given, they should take that away from you. Pay those people back. Any, any fucking, tw you know, Twitch dollars, subs, those people should get their money back because that's fucking fraud. That is fraud. That is way fraud. And it doesn't even get worse than that. I mean, that's bad. That's bad. You know, faking you have cancer and trying and making money off of it and then coming out to having some even be like another piece of shit call you out um it's pretty bad but this is even worse i think i don't know this really hits me hard literally everything a part of your life oh, yeah, well, your life almost everything. Yeah, everything i just I... said was a lie right i wasn't suicidal and, I, and now i am suicidal because i said i wasn't suicidal so that's a lie right? somebody clipped that and put me inspirational music to it <laughs> that was actually no, I'm just... I like I, I'm just, I'm speech. just saying, I'm just saying there, there are probably people out there watching this right now who are struggling with suicidal impulses. And if you're, yes, I have been for a while, for a while, I've been struggling a lot with my mental health. I have been for a while. There's a lot of things that I haven't told people that my wife knows about. I've had those thoughts quite a bit because I have them on a regular. Um, currently, you know, I don't have the insurance right now, so I can't pay for the medications that I was on. I don't have, you know, a platform like Boogie or having a Patreon or a Twitch where I constantly gain money because I don't really get a chance to put that much content on it. Plus, my channel is really not that big. So here's this thing. Like, I work a 20, you know, I work a 40-hour job. I work my ass off. Um, I, you know, it's great. It's great. I don't have insurance yet. I had to put back a lot of my medications because, again, we could prove it. We could bring up my medical chart from my chart. We could bring up at least some of the stuff that wasn't tied to, uh, shoot, Belfont Hospital because I don't know what happened like with the transition between Belfont Hospital of Ashland to this one, uh, KDMC. Um, I can't see that shit. So I don't know how I'm going to get the records to show that, hey, I was in the ICU or, hey, I was in that behavior unit there in the behavioral unit twice at KDMC. Uh, I can't bring up that. I'm going to try to find it. I will try to find it. And that way you guys can kind of see that I'm not fucking around when I say I have really seriously, really bad health issues because I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend uh, like this fucker is and. Uh, say that I have these problems or had these problems and I want to show them. Um, that's the difference between you and I. This guy got offered, you know, thousands of dollars. I think it was almost $80,000. So all he had to do was show the actual documentation where the doctor said, hey, you got cancer. He didn't want to do that because it's a lie. And you got to remember, like, this guy says he needs money super bad. Like, super bad. That's why he did his crypto scan. That's why he came out a couple of years ago after he lost all his money to crypto and also asked for money and asked for donations. 
Um, this guy is a serial donation lover. Like, he just grabs those sympathy donations as much as he fucking can. And he has no shame. Um, but let's continue. For one of them, fucking stick it out. That's all I'm trying to say. You're not shut up. Oh my god. It's like okay, give me a fuck yeah, answer. Give me a fuck answer, guys. Give me a fuck fuck suicide. Yeah, Jesus. My god. You are never suicidal. You love yourself way too much to ever kill oh, yourself, oh, okay? Oh. You're way too narcissistic. You would oh, never be suicidal. Oh. You'd let you'd let the world burn to ashes around you before you even considered hurting yourself any more than that was gonna mean, but no, yeah, like hey, Jesus. Hey, 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 I'm the, I don't sell farms. Self -harm? Whoa. Okay, well that was what my joke was gonna be. I was gonna any more than stuffing your mouth full with a cheeseburger. Like that's what I was gonna say. But yeah, if you wanna say, yeah. So he kind of has this thing now where he says that, like, I think it was one case where I think Muda or it was either Muda or Destiny was asking him, like, hey, what kind of self harm do you do? He says, I drink Mountain Dew and stuff things in my face. I was like. That's not really self, that is self-harm, but I'm fat and I feed myself nasty shit. It's not self-harm as in terms of a mental health issue. Maybe, maybe, maybe addiction. Addiction is a mental health issue. But the fact that, you know, you're fat and I'm fat, um, and there's a lot of people fat, doesn't mean they're self-harming themselves on purpose. And this is one of the things he does. Like he talks about how, you know, he was suicidal. And he's made many videos about this, saying how he was going to commit suicide. And here's the thing: I'm going to tell you, if you commit, if you're at that point, and I have been a lot lately, but I can't afford to take off work. I can't. Just can't. It can't fucking happen. I can't afford to take off work. Um, I don't have insurance. I can't afford this shit because I have to pay, you know, bills. I have a responsibility. Um, and I don't have the opportunity, I don't have paid time off or anything like that, because I have to have this stuff in order to get fixed. But, you know, he using, you know, this, again, this is him manipulating people uh, to feel sorry for him, because he's saying this, this stuff happens, this makes me the reason why I'm fat, because I'm purposely self-harming myself. Um, feel sorry for me. Uh, let's continue. Not to mention when he does get called out, he does a lot of lashing out. This is a normal thing. This is, there's a history of this. Uh, you could probably watch v videos from the last 10 years. Uh, I mean, he's been on for like, what is it, over two decades? Maybe maybe two decades. Um, he's constantly doing this. So when he gets called out on his bullshit, um, he lashes out. He lashes out. And this is, again, this is, this is narcissism. Uh, when people get called out for their bullshit and they try to turn themselves into the victim, um, that is a form of narcissism, which is, again, that's a mental health issue. And people that play, you know, play the narcissist, and we've seen a lot of it. We see a lot of it with the frauditors. Whenever they get arrested, uh, they ended up, you know, making themselves a victim. Then they try to get money from their followers because they say they're performing some kind of service for them. And this is why you see what he's doing. He's done it for years. You know, he said, hey, listen to me. I know. I know how it feels, guys. Um, I've got, a, I've got, I got super chats. I've got a cash app. I've got Venmo. I've got a, I got a Patreon. Um, uh, press five for respect and uh, give me five dollars, please. He does this shit. He does this shit. And there's a very, there's a lot of these people you're going to come to find out. And I know some people are going to find out. It's like, hey, you're, you're conservative. You're not exactly. Well, a long time ago, I said I was kind of conservative. I do have different values as conservative and a liberal values. Um, it's not completely. I didn't lie about it. And I've made it clear a few times. I try not to talk about politics, but this is a fact what I'm talking about. One of the guys on here is a really, really bad, bad person. Uh, two really bad people. But let's continue. I want to show you the rest of it, and this is where we're going to talk about another thing. So let's continue. If you see a if you see a 400 pound man, if you see a 400 pound woman, guess what? They do it because they're self-harming, because there's something wrong in their fucking brains. I'm not talking about if you're a little bit fat like Muda carrying around an extra 20 pounds or whatever, okay? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the people that eat themselves to fucking death. We do it because something's wrong, dipshit. It's a I think what's happening, I think you do it because the food tastes really good and exercise No, sucks. and that's one of the worst parts about it. I don't even like the taste of food anymore. Honestly, even, bro. If you don't like don't the taste of food, why drink, di why drink diet? Why drink you miss do? it? You know, it's funny whenever Keemstar, like, he's just, he cringes, like, he's, he's just like, he knows, he knows. I, 
here's the thing. I don't really like Keem Start. You guys can say what you want. I like Keem. He is actually cracks me up. Um, but, you know, here's the thing. Destiny, even though I don't like Destiny, he's actually got a point. He's actually got a point. Um, you know, whenever I'm eating like a, like a lard ass, I am. Um, you know, I'm not thinking about, oh, please, I hate myself. One more piece of pizza, please. Please stuff me up with some, I don't know, some marshmallows, some donuts. Uh, stuff me up with some lard, I don't know. Self-harm, that's not, that's not exactly right. Not exactly true. Um, you know, it has a lot to do with motivation, metabolism, mental health. It has a lot to do with that. But it's not exactly self-harm. I'm not saying that's not the case for everybody. But for me, I don't eat because I, you know, want to hurt myself. I don't. It's never been really a case. Um, it's not. It's really not. It's just because I like food. Food tastes good. Hamburgers are good. Chicken wings are good. Donuts are good. Just can't get them out of my mouth. Even though I'm a fucking diabetic. I know that. But I'm actually really, really bad at doing that. But what Boogie's doing here, like I said, this is a form of manipulation. And this is what it is. Instead of just drinking water. Because it's a form of self-harm. Because I'm destroying you my You drink body. Diet Mountain You go to the store and you spend money on a yeah. drink that you apparently don't like just yeah. to hurt yourself. Hurt. You, yes. it? you know yes. cutting is way cheaper, right? Thank like you. one razor blade will last you a lifetime. I used to cut. I used to cut. I saying, don't like, like it. Jesus you're Christ. encouraging people to cut? Go oh fuck God. yourself. I used Bro, to what cut. are we talking I about right now? Cut. I can't take anything, but I drink aspartame soft drinks. You're encouraging people to Jesus cut their fucking Christ. arms. That's what I fucking heard. The guy who laughed at fucking Donald Trump's assassination Dude. attempt is telling people to cut their fucking arms. Go fuck yourself. I'm just you know, Destiny didn't really really say, you know, he didn't really imply him to do, do that. He's actually giving a an example. Um, in this case, Boogie's saying that he... You know, buys Diet Mountain Dew, and here's the thing I do too. I buy cases of Diet Mountain Dew and zero root beer. Um, it's not because I, you know, want to hurt myself. It's because I love it. It's delicious um, to me. And the fact, Destiny, what he was pointing out is if he was doing self harm, and it, here it is. I'm not going to justify what Destiny said, but the fact, the way he said it was kind of hyperbole like say hey um yeah you, you you could have spent you know hundreds of dollars on mountain dew for self-harm uh or instead buy a razor blade now like i said i'm not going to justify that but i do know what he means here i know exactly what he means there um but again boogie does lash out and i do how i do know how some people would see that and like well obviously destiny's being an asshole which he is it's it's the truth but let's continue just saying that it would be a lot I'm cheaper saying, than wasting your money on I'm diet, saying, doctor, mountain dew, whatever the fuck. I'm just your fucking arms open. Oh, you want to see that? Hold on. Okay, I'll do it. Give me 30 seconds. No, Holy wait, shit, whoa, the next era of boogie self-harm. Oh no, he's waiting for you to tell him to stop. That's what he's doing. He's Pro waiting. Well, I'm falling for it. He better not do nothing fucking stupid. He's going to come back with the razor. He's going to hold it up. And he's going to... I can't like the um yeah sorry. I can't believe well, the only we thing... discovered in this stream that he literally fucking googled it. No one said the word cancer before he rushed and made that video. That is true by the way. Um he heard polycythemia from his doctor and the fact that there could be like uh blood cells or whatever hemoglobin whatever um has, you know, those traits. Um, but they never came out and said, hey, you actually have cancer, like he said a long time ago that he was diagnosed. Um, he actually Googled, uh, basically did a WebMD and said, hey, polycythemia, oh, I got cancer. I got to tell everybody really quick without getting proper diagnosis. I yeah. cannot believe that. Dude, like, he was excited as fuck. He was like, he comes home, he's like, you know that episode of South Park where, like, fucking Cartman's like, I've got golden dick. And he's like, I've got this cancer, bro. Now I can fucking make tons of views. And I can yeah. fucking... But like, imagine, like, after, after, after like, the Googling like, nights, do on, not do on, anything with that knife. No, we don't no, think, no. Hold on. No. no, he wants me to. No, he told me no, to, right? No, 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 no. Oh, this is too much better than eating a sandwich. Too much better than eating a sandwich, Destiny. Put that away right now. You fucking piece of shit. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So that's basically the end of it, basically. So basically what, what Boogie did, suicide baiting, which we're not a fan of. I do not like when people use suicide as a way to manipulate people to feeling sorry for them. I do not. 
I do not stand for that. I will not stand for that. I will not justify that. Um, the fact that he was able to get on there, make this big show, I don't know what he was doing. I think he was trying to manipulate the audience to feel sorry for him. But you don't get on screen, screen, you don't get on screen, show that you have a knife, and do exactly what Destiny said you was going to do. And that's what you fucking did. That's exactly what you did. You lashed out, and you threatened to kill yourself, knowing damn well you wasn't going to. Um, and you did that. That's not cool. That's not cool. There's so many people that's, that's committed suicide or it's been in, you know, behavior wings, a hospital. I'm sorry. That's kind of hard for me to talk about. Cause it's just like, when I think about it, like I think about my best friend and all this shit, it's like fucking terrible. You don't fucking do that. You don't fucking do that. That's fucking terrible. The fact you have the goal to get online and make this into a show for yourself, again, this paints, you know, an even worse picture on you than it already did. At this point, Boogie, and this has been said before, uh, Boogie at this point is praying that he has cancer so he can do his, you know, say, hey, I told you so, um, which is not how it works. It's not how it works. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not how it works. Uh, you don't literally say you have cancer and then wish you have cancer to be like, ha, 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 I got the upper hand, assholes. No, it's not how it works. You don't suicide bait and you don't fucking, you know, you just don't fucking do that. Get off the Internet. Stay off the Internet. Get a fucking job. Downsize your house. Do whatever you do. Fix your life. Stay off the Internet. Uh, go get help. Go see a therapist. Go, just go fucking do it. Your career is over. Like, as far as anybody is concerned, with those few acts, the way you fucking act this whole few years, especially on this low cow podcast, and making yourself look like an even bigger jackass on X, um, this is fucking terrible. And I'm sorry if you guys are watching this you know, 25 minutes in. I do apologize. But I think that's where I'm going to leave this off because I think I think there's, there's a lot to be said um, when people do this shit. It's not exactly a nice thing. It's really not. It's 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 actually fucking terrible. Uh, the fact that you use cancer and suicide uh, as a way to manipulate people to feel sorry for you, when the fact is there's many of us that suffered from these things or watched people die or went to a funeral to see your best friend or your dad in a fucking casket because either cancer or suicide. There's a lot of people a lot of people you hurt it's not fucking cool dude not at all so go fuck yourself go away please